Okay, guys, so we are on workbook page 709. We're going to be talking about polygons in the coordinate plane. So for numbers 1 and 2, we want to use the coordinates to find the length of each side of the rectangle, then find the perimeter. So from the point 1, 2 to 1, 7, the 1s didn't change. What did change is the 2 and the 7. That's a distance of 5. And then for the next points, from point 0.17 to point 0.47, the 7s didn't change, but the 1 and the 4 did. That's a distance of 3 units from 1 to 4. And then for 4.7 and 4.2, the 4s didn't change, but the 7 and 2 changed, a distance of 5 units. And then from 4, 2 back to 1, 2, the 2s don't change, but the 4s changed. And that's a distance of 3 units. So the rectangle has sides 5, 3, 5, and 3. Those are the side lengths. So to find the perimeter, you just add them all up. 5 plus 5 is 10. 3 plus 3 is 6. So 10 plus 6 gives a perimeter of 16. So number two, same thing. So from zero, zero to four, zero, the zeros didn't change. What changed is from zero to four, the x coordinate, that's a distance of four. And then from four, zero to four, four, the x coordinate stayed the same, but the y coordinate moved four units. And then you don't even really need to do the other two because the problem told us that these are rectangles. And we know that rectangles have two sides the same and two sides the same. So this rectangle is actually a square because if these two sides are four and four, then the other two sides are four and four. But we could just check. So the four and four here stayed the same, but from four to zero, that changed by four. And then from zero, zero, those are the same, but from this zero to this four, that's a distance of four. So we just add up all the sides to find the perimeter, four, eight, 12, 16. So that has a perimeter of 16. Okay, now we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna do numbers six and seven. So these say graph each figure and classify it, then find the area. So we don't know what shapes these are going to be till we graph them. So first we want to plot the point 3, negative 2. So we start at the origin. 3 to the right, down 2. So we're going to put a point right here. That's point R. Then we have 7, negative 2. So 7 to the right, down 2. That's point S. Then we have 8, negative 6, 8 to the right, down 6. That is point T. Then we have 1, negative 6, 1 to the right, down 6, point V. So if I connect to these, we have a trapezoid. So now that we have a trapezoid, we have to use the formula for a trapezoid. So we have base 1, base 2, you add those times the height divided by two. So let's find the measurements of base one is one, two, three, four. Base two is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have to find the height, which has to be 90 degrees. So one, two, three, four. So base one, plus base two times the height divided by two. So seven plus four is 11. 11 times four is 44. So we get 22. So the area of this is 22 units squared. Okay, last one, number seven, we're gonna graph it. So A is negative three, negative four. So three left, four down. Then we have negative three, positive five. So three left, five up, two, five. 
and then two, negative four. So now we connect these and it is a rectangle. We forgot to classify this one. Let's just write trapezoid. So now we wanna find the area. So we just do base times height or length times width. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the area of this is nine times five. So 45 units squared.